they might make for unlikely partners. But Olaf Scholz and Georgia Maloney seem to have found common ground on tackling migration. Chancellor Scholz, a center-left social democrat, welcomed Maloney in Berlin for talks today. The Italian prime minister represents the far-right Brothers of Italy party. But despite the smiles and handshakes, some deep differences remain. Two leaders with very different visions. One a social democrat, the other Italy's first far-right prime minister since World War II. Despite that, Germany and Italy have found common ground across multiple areas. But as the two countries seek to finalize a so-called action plan that covers environmental issues, economic growth and aid to Ukraine, immigration comes up again and again. Giorgia Maloney was elected on a strongly anti-immigrant platform. Italy is on the front line of immigration to Europe. Boats from northern Africa arrive in Italy, but many on board want to travel further to Germany or other northern countries to seek asylum. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has sought to tighten Germany's policy as well, making the country less attractive to migrants by limiting cash transfers and other policies. Earlier this year, the 27 countries of the European Union agreed to changes in migration policy to allow for the relocation of migrants across Europe, with heavy fines for countries that refuse to take their allocated share. But there are still deep differences. Rome has most recently clashed with Berlin over Germany's funding of NGOs that rescue migrants at sea and bring them to Italian ports. So far this year, well over 200,000 people have entered Europe's borders irregularly. That's far less than in some recent years, but still enough to keep the issue alive as social democrats and far-right politicians search for common ground. Well, after the meeting, Chancellor Scholz stressed the importance of Germany's partnership with Italy. We all know we have to find a way to reduce irregular migration and ensure that there are legal migration routes. We need partnerships with the countries of origin and transit, and that is exactly what we are working on. Partnerships that, as the Prime Minister said, work on an equal footing. And our correspondent, Julia Saudelli, was at the joint press conference here in Berlin. Julia, these are two politicians from very different backgrounds. So where did they find common ground today? Well, as we've heard, there has been disagreement in the last few months about the issue of migration. We've heard uh, about uh, Giorgia Meloni sending a letter uh, to Scholz uh, saying that uh, Germany is financing of NGOs that are rescuing migrants at sea uh, constitutes uh, a support for legal migration and is a pull factor for migrants to come illegally to Europe. Uh, on the other hand, Germany criticized Italy and accused it of not respecting EU laws when it comes to the the distribution of asylum seekers in uh, Europe. So there has been some tension in the past few months, but today what we heard at the press conference was actually agreement. Both agreed that illegal migration to Europe has to be stemmed and that legal ways uh, of migrating to Europe have to be made possible and that the main way to achieve this is through partnerships with origin and uh, transit countries. Yet, yeah, tell us more about those deals with third countries, because Maloney talked about them for quite a while there at the press conference. Yeah, this specific deal isn't with countries of origin, but with a third country, Albania. And Italy and Albania are, have worked on a deal to make it possible for asylum seekers seeking asylum in Italy to be taken to Albania. And once there, they will be housed in uh, migrant reception centers where Italian authorities will process their asylum requests in Albania. Now, this is a plan that has been uh, criticized, where uh, critics see that uh, there is a risk of the plan not respecting EU and international law, but uh, the German government itself is looking at similar plans with interest. They have said that they uh, might consider looking into uh, similar solutions to uh, the migration problem. And Scholz today said that uh, it is going to be look at how the Italian plan pans out with interest. Mm -hmm. Migration at the top of the agenda, but not the only topic on the table. What else did the two leaders discuss? 
We have seen agreement on other issues too, especially looking at international and geopolitical questions. For example, looking at Ukraine. Today, the two leaders, Scholz and Meloni, took part in a virtual meeting of the G20 countries where Putin was also uh, present for the first time since the war against Ukraine, although virtually. And uh, both Italy and Germany reiterated their uh, strong support for Ukraine. They said that their military and financial support has to continue as long as it takes. They also agreed on uh, looking at the Israel-Hamas conflict, that both countries support Israel and its right to defend itself, and that they both want to push for the resolution of the conflict and the implementation of a two-state solution in the region. SDW's Julia Saudelli in Berlin, thanks so much.